Here's a quick video of how to make a incubator to incubate reptile eggs or I guess any eggs at that. So basically you start with a Coleman cooler, get uh, some heat tape. This is uh, I think three inch heat tape. There's two pieces here on the bottom. Then you got your power cord going through where the plug would be for the cooler. So then you get some water bottles, fill them up with water. I used obviously used bottles. Line the bottom like that. So when that when they heat up, they hold heat. Then you get yourself some light diffuser at Home Depot. You cut it to size, drop it right in there. Then you can get a little fan like this at a computer store. And if you find an old phone charger, you just cut it, wire it together with some electric tape. Basically trial and error as far as what, uh, which wires to hook up where. I'm not too good with electricity, so trial and error. And then one of the ways worked, there's three wires, I guess, positive, negative, and a ground, but just kept trying until the fan worked when I plugged it in. So basically, get your fan in there, plug it in, and then you just plug the heat here into a good thermostat. Fill a deli cup up with water to hold humidity, and that's it. And you don't even need this plexiglass. This is just added on here, just so I could see, but if you wanted to make it basic, you don't really need that. It's the simplest incubator you could have. Just make sure you get a really good thermostat, that's all. Other than that, you'll be good and maintain temperatures in there. Can't fit too many egg boxes, but if you know you're just a starting hobbyist, it's a pretty good starter incubator. Even I still use this for certain turtle eggs or leopard gecko clutches, stuff like that. Alright.